So hi there again everyone, this is again Alan and welcome back to my watercolor channel. I miss you guys. I know it's been 6 months since I last uploaded a video. Do you guys still know me? For those who are new to my channel, I am Alan. I'm an architect and a watercolor artist based here in the Philippines. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you two parts. The first part is a life update and the second part is a lineup of the watercolor products that I'm going to be reviewing in the coming months. I know some of you guys have noticed my absence in the last months. Some of you have even commented their curiosity and concerns here on YouTube. Some have even messaged me on Instagram and on my Facebook accounts um, asking me how had I been, am I doing well, and I really appreciate all of your concerns guys so thank you very much for that. Uh, you know what guys, 2023 has been really crazy for me and it's not done yet. <laughs> it's like a never ending roller coaster ride. Let's begin with uh, January 1, 2023. I was in uh, Nepal. I was in Kathmandu for a tour. It was a gift by my boss. So to my boss, thank you so much for the great experience. I was there for five days uh, for a tour and though I was there for five days, I wasn't able to make plein air paintings, no content yet because it was so cold and the schedule was jam-packed. But soon I hope I could make a content um, for Nepal tour. But everything was great until my father got COVID even before I was able to return to the Philippines. And that sickness lasted for a few weeks and that made him really, really weak. And by the way, my father was 75 years old. He was a post-kidney transplant patient, so he's really uh, delicate and sensitive. And in March, he got um, metastatic cancer. He got uh, multiple myeloma, so he was diagnosed with cancer. We were, we were devastated because of that, and uh, he again was rushed to the hospital. That sickness made him really weak. Um, everything happened so fast. My mom uh, looked after him at the hospital, but after a week, my mom asked me to help her to join her in uh, looking after my dad because my mom is also really old. And even though I was juggling a lot of things, I was juggling doing my YouTube content, doing my commission paintings, uh, handling my Shopee store. Even though all of things I was handling, I uh, prioritized my dad. I, I, I went to the hospital and uh, helped my uh, mom look after my dad. And if you remember, my last video was the Denise Sodden's Embrace Opacity palette of uh, Da Vinci. I uploaded that on March 22 and after two days my dad already passed away and it was really hard. It was hard for the family. No one of course expected him to die that early. I mean that short span of time. Some of my subscribers here on YouTube are also my friends on uh, Facebook or Instagram and some have uh, you know expressed their condolences and uh, I really appreciate that so thank you guys and fast forward today I'm still doing the same things I'm still doing my Shopee store my content and my commission paintings but this time I need to work double time because we had to close my dad's business because that's just the best thing to do so at this point Guys, I really want to thank you for just being there for me, for supporting me in all platforms, in YouTube, on my social media accounts, and especially to my Shopee store. All kinds of support are really appreciated. These have helped me and my family move forward. Your love and empathy are really priceless, so thank you so much, guys. Now for the second part of this video, let's now have the lineup of our watercolor products. I have 10 products now and 4 of these were sent to me by companies and some subscribers. And these does not include yet our Bangkok, Singapore and India haul. So yeah, we have lots of pending backlog reviews. <laughs> but let's begin with this package from the States. It's um, the Viv Burnum Art. Yeah, V. Burnum Art. I think this is a new uh, brand of watercolors and I'm so excited for this because I believe we are going to be the first to review this and the set just looks so aesthetic. It's so beautiful. I'm showing it now 
and uh, I've already googled information about this and I'm just so excited and I can't tell exactly yet why so please wait for the actual review our next package is technically from Singapore it says here but this contains a Paul Rubens product it contains Mei Liang uh, watercolors or the pretty excellent watercolors and we have reviewed the first set years before but now we are having their latest um, set it has 52 colors if I'm not mistaken and I'm really excited about this also the pretty excellent watercolors or the million watercolors is one of the most loved student grade watercolors and we cannot deny that so I'm really excited about this also our next products are from Japan this were sent to me kindly by a subscriber from Japan who doesn't want to be identified she just wanted me to uh, test this out because I believe she is also using this the first set is the Sakura matte watercolors we have 18 colors here and it's still super sealed so it's really new our second set is Sakura Koi watercolors 18 colors also so I don't know the difference obviously these are matte but I believe there's also a non matte is this the non matte version please let me know if you know uh, at the comment section our next set is surely gonna bring nostalgia to my co 80s and 90s kids this is a local vintage brand <laughs> And I used this when I was in uh, grade school and even preschool. And I'm so happy to be able to find one, a new one. <laughs> and this is actually banned now here in the Philippines because of high lead content. So if you guys still have this, please use this with a lot of caution. Use this responsibly and keep it away from children. Next product is the Kiaomei watercolor set. And it's also a product of Paul Rubens. This was bought by a friend for me and I have here 24 colors so this is the inside I'm not sure if this is student grade or professional grade I will need to make more research but the most interesting thing here is that it uses PO49 in some of its colors so <laughs> That's actually the main reason why I got this. It uses PO49, but sadly, it doesn't have a single tube of PO49. Why? <laughs> Our next brand was included in my 2023 birthday bucket list, and that is none other than the Rosa Gallery watercolors from Ukraine. And I got the modern set and added three more colors to make a 24 color set. So here's what's inside there you go and I'm so happy to have this yay another check on my wish list now our last three products are Jollibee products just kidding I just reused these food containers these are microwavables but I recycled them so the first product are the Rembrandt watercolor tubes. These are 21 ml tubes. I uh, bought these um, individually and I got 24 colors. I hand picked these colors. What are these colors? You will know soon in my review. And uh, these are from Netherlands. Same makers of uh, Van Gogh. Now our next set are the Jackson's watercolors that are rumored to be rebranded Sennelier paints are they just the same paints we will find out also I have 24 colors here these are two layers so I have 24 colors these are also hand-picked I bought these of course at Jackson's art in UK so again I'm building 24 color set Pour them in half pans and make them available at my Shopee store. We are hitting two birds with one stone. Now, our last and most expensive product in this lineup is the Jollibee Spaghetti. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, we have here the Michael Harding watercolors. I have here 
32 colors and I also bought this individually although I think it would have been wiser if I bought sets but not all the colors I wanted were in sets so I opted to uh, choosing my colors from the open stock and I'm planning to uh, make this 36 before I do my review what do you think I've tested some of the colors and I noticed that they're not drying <laughs> from from pants so I'm not sure if it's good it's a good idea to pour them in pans I would need to perform my test first before I make them available at my Shopee store they're actually even more expensive than Schminka than Daniel Smith and M. Graham than Sennelier and why is that? are they really that good? we will find out soon <laughs> so those are the lineup of uh, watercolors that we are going to be reviewing in the coming months um, the sequence is not sure yet <laughs> but for sure we are going to be uh, reviewing first the set sent by Viburnum and the Miliang uh, sets and let's see what colors or what sets will come next so again thank you for staying up to this part thank you for listening to my update and for being excited with me in this lineup so again thank you for watching and see you on the next video bye bye